All right, welcome into today's heart booty where we're gonna focus on really giving it that nice good shape. So really lifting it, bubbling it up at the top and really giving that nice good shape. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what you're gonna need for today's workout is definitely some of your resistance bands. So you've got your booty bands over here and I'm also gonna be incorporating some long bands. Um, and I'll show you some modifications if you don't have those yet. If you don't, make sure to just go uh, click the link below uh, somewhere in here, or you can just go to bootybands.com and be able to get yours so that you have all four of the different resistance. So let's get started into our heart booty workout. You ready for this? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my level one band. Yeah, girl, it's time for that booty heart shape. And um, one of my most absolute favorites, so one I always, always, always begin my nice good warm ups with booty bands is that nice good clam. I love this one, it's such a great activation. So, feet are together, bottom knee stays on the ground as that top knee is gonna lift. So we're just gonna open that band up nice and big, all right? So don't half ass it. Put your full heart booty into this. Open it up and then bring it back down. Now, if you are not feeling your glutes, what I personally do is I make a little adjustment, so I'm just gonna send my feet back just a little bit and see if that changes it. Maybe I need to open my feet up a little bit more. Maybe I need to close my feet a little bit more. Whatever it is, make sure that you're just kind of figuring it out. And we're gonna go for a total of 30 seconds, all right? Here we go. Beautiful. Good, keep that core nice and tight and try to keep yourself not from swaying that only the booty is doing all the work here. Great work. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that foot in an angle right back behind us. So pretty much my leg is resting on top of my bottom foot and I'm just going to kick it back and up. So I'm going at a diagonal here. We got another 30 seconds. So just lift and lower. You should definitely be feeling your booty right here. If you're not, again, make that little small adjustment. Personally, what I like to do is flex my foot so my foot is flat. You might like it more pointed. It really just depends on everybody. His body's a little different, but it's about really feeling that activation of the glute. And again, try not to sink down into your shoulder right here. Lift yourself out of that shoulder so that you have a nice, good posture up at the top. Good, you should definitely be feeling that burn, right? So if you wanna have your long band handy, Grab your long band. Next one, we're just gonna place it around the body and onto the foot. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can just hold on to it, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna press at a different diagonal now. Your leg is now in line with the other leg going straight out in front of you, and you're just gonna press and come back in. Oh my gosh, your little heart booty should be feeling this. Now you really kinda wanna be focusing more on that heel that heel is gonna be, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. My butt hurts so bad right now. Okay, hold on, I can't breathe. We got 20 more seconds. Oh my gosh, that burn is real. How are you doing over there? Are you feeling this burn right now? Oh my gosh, that was complete failure. Did you see that last rep? I couldn't even do it. All right, awesome, now give that side a rest and let's go into the other side. Okay, same thing, clamps. So feet are together, bottom leg is down. You keep that bottom leg pressed into the mat as the top leg is doing all the work. Now again, if you really wanna get that best, the best results in this, it's that mind and muscle connection. I've been noticing a lot of people when they're starting working out, they're holding their breath. So don't hold your breath. This is a time to really breathe. So what I do is I exhale when it's hard and I inhale when it's easy. So and inhale. Good. Feel that little heart booty growing. Oh, good work. Now straighten out that leg. Again, it's a, a little bit of a diagonal, so it's not straight out. Um, it's a little bit towards the back. Here we go, we got 30 seconds. Flex that foot, 
activate that booty. What I try to do with my foot is I think about leading with my heel. So instead of leading with my toe, I lead more with that heel and that heel is what's gonna really activate that booty. Awesome work. All right, now the most painful one ever, obviously because it's combined with the first two. Go ahead and place it around your foot. I place it around my, my body. And then to give it a little bit harder resistance, I just hold on to it with my hands. And then at that diagonal now in front of you, so a complete opposite of what you were doing on the last one, you're just pressing against that band right at that diagonal. Again, I'm kind of putting it more on my heel Oh, this one really burns. <laughs> this one I like to do, it's kind of like um, if you and I were doing a leg press right now on the leg press machine and you're sitting actually on the side of the leg press machine, like you're, you're kind of twisted in it and you're going at just one foot. This is what I did all the time and I saw the best results. So imagine like you're at the gym and you're just doing a leg press and that resistance band is your, is your machine. Has it been 30 seconds yet? Come on, who's counting over here? Oh my gosh, oh, okay. Take a little breather. I just need a little stretch on that because my glutes are screaming. But guess what, wait, before we stretch, we do have to go into our diagonal bridge. So we're gonna go right into our compound exercise. So put your soles of your feet together. If you need to take off the resistance band for this, feel free to do so. Um, but you're just gonna press your hips up while you're pressing your feet together. And you wanna focus on squeezing those glutes. So just lift up and lower. Now we are on our first round. So if you want and you feel like you're ready, you can add a little bit of some weight to your hips right here. If you feel like you're still a beginner and you're like, nope, I'm good right where I'm at, then you just stay right there. But it really is your choice, okay? When you go up, you wanna try to press those knees down. Up, press those knees away. Oh, you're doing great. Okay, now we can stretch it out. So take that band off. Just take your right knee, bring it up towards your chest. Big, nice inhale. And then exhale. And then you're just gonna take that knee and bring it across the body over to the opposite shoulder. Hold it there. Good, other side. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome, and now just bring it over to the opposite shoulder. Great job. Okay, because it's 10 minutes, we wanna make sure that we get in our full workout. All right, so we're gonna do our next one. This one is going to be our squat lift. So I'm just gonna keep it on that resistance of level one. So we're gonna go into a squat and we're just gonna lift and we're gonna stay all on one side. So whatever leg you're lifting, remember to make a mental note of that. So I'm lifting my right leg. Again, when you go into a squat, if you don't know how to do a squat correctly, make sure you go check out the form series. So you'll get faster, quicker, better results if you've got the right form in your squats. Beautiful job. Now that right leg's gonna go down. The other leg's gonna go straight. If you need a little bit more wiggle room, bring that band up. We're gonna go into that side lunge and back up. 
everything's in alignment and you have your shoulder, hip, knee, foot all in alignment. Feel that heart booty growing yet? Make sure when you're setting it back, you're feeling yourself in that heel, in that booty, and press up with that heel. Good, now let's go ahead and go to the other side. Great work, let's go right into now the left leg. Bring that down, side lunge, back up. Core is tight, chest is lifted. Your spine is straight, that booty is back. Beautiful work, last exercise. The scorpions. This time I'm gonna show you the scorpions just on your mat. Sometimes I like to do scorpions on a chair or a ball. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your heels together. Your feet are flexed, you're gonna lift your feet up and then back down. Now you wanna make sure you're not lifting your lower, using your lower back, just your glutes. So you're just gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Feeling to the point that you're just shaking and that booty is on fire. And then sit it back into child pose. Good. I'm just gonna end with a few little final stretches that are my top favorite for the glutes. So just bring your knees and your feet together. You're gonna set your booty back and then off to the side. You can adjust your arms however, but you just wanna press that booty down and back into the side. Good, switch sides. Awesome. All right, so this one personally is one of my most favorites. I'm gonna wanna repeat this. If you've got time, go ahead and repeat this all the way through. It's not gonna hurt you. It's just gonna do yourself some good. Add a little bit of a harder resistance band if you can through it. But if this is all that you had for today and you could only do this long, then feel accomplished, feel successful. You are staying consistent with your routine and that's where the results are. So I'll see you in the next workout. Bye. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great and your new transformation can start today.